like the fakeness of the internet. There are people like that do go out and like will go to a cafe, buy a drink, and not even drink it. Yeah, because you're giving people a false, yeah, yeah. false reality. Yeah, it is yeah, a false reality. I guess reality. it is. But just using Zoe and Alfie as an example because obviously she's always been doing it for like ten, however many years. Yeah. She started off as this like young girl. She was this kind of like airy fairy beauty guru doing her hair like the whole yeah. internet broke yeah. right. down when, when she had her everyday makeup routine when she'd have yeah. four easy and quick hairstyles I gloss. fucking <laughs> lost it she's growing up as a person she is a full adult yeah. she has earned a lot of money through doing YouTube and it's like people get attached to the idea of seeing her as what she used to be Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I've not done a video like this in the longest time, purely because I start a series and never end them. So here we are, True. continuing it, you know, the podcast is back, probably like the, this is probably going to be the only episode, let's be honest. <laughs> but today we are joined with Anna and Haz, as you can see. For those of you that don't know, this is completely uncut. You can listen to this, you can watch this, you can have it on in the background, whatever. It's super chill. We're just going to talk about some stuff that we think is important to talk about. Or well, not necessarily important, but we feel like people would, I don't know, find it interesting. I love interesting. videos like this. Yeah, yeah. Me too. I love watching things like this or just having it on when I'm cleaning or whatever. Yeah. So here we are, I just providing that content. You know, David Dobbs is, is the best. Yeah. I like um, Alfie. Alfie's is really yeah. good as well. Alfie's is so, it so good. It was good. Speak Out. Um, you know about that no. one? The one, one that I knew. The Secret's Out. That's yeah, yeah, that's it. That's, that's, that's it. so fucking good. Anyway, today's topic is like the fakeness of the internet and YouTube being constructed, or like Instagram, for example, social media in general, actually, being this like constructed, constructed. I can't say that word. Constructed. 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 I can't say it. Constructed. It's just a false reality, basically. And then we're just gonna sit, have a little discussion about it. Maybe like get on tangents somewhere that's not this topic. But that's what we're gonna start on. So, Anna has. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. Um, if you see me looking like in this direction, my iPad's there, we've just got some little pointers on there that we want to talk about and we want to touch Topics. upon. So, this all started, I was talking to a friend the other day and basically he's not involved in any sort of social media or anything to do with the internet and I was like, oh my god, shit, I've not posted on Instagram today and he was like, what? And I was like, I've not posted on Instagram today and I was like, oh my god, I've not got a photo to post and he was like, as if this stresses you out, like as if posting on Instagram stresses you out and I was just sat back and like that is really shitty of me actually because like it's not my job but like I'm getting super stressed out over the fact that I've not posted something mm -hmm. but here I am anyway. But why were you getting stressed out? I don't know why I was getting stressed out about it. I was like oh my god like I need to like post. I don't know why I was getting stressed out about it though. Like what? I feel like it's because we know. post every day. I always yeah. make sure I post at least once every day. I feel like it's becoming like a just a more like a routine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I just like I literally just said I'm alive then and I was like, Oh my god, I haven't posted today. And yeah. then I went on and I had. That's weird, but it, it gets to the point where like it's it just upsets me if I don't post something because I, I enjoy it so much. Yeah. And that's what it gets It's like, like I haven't out been of. it's like I haven't been motivated in the week and I haven't like been productive. Because if I haven't gone out it sounds really stupid. But like if we haven't gone out on a shoot day and got photos, I'm like, well, we haven't done that this week. But you week, know how so. shit that sounds. Like if you actually take it's, yourself out no, of this situation, I know, it's actually people are like, oh my god, you haven't taken a photo of yourself this week. Are you actually wow. joking? Yeah, yeah. But then if and you I think about it, like, what? Is then that then a joke? if you think about it, like for you, it's your yeah. job. We're, yeah. we're, I don't know, what, like our aspirations are really, but like we could be working. That's gonna really annoy me. We could be working up for it to be a job. So like you still have to put in the work for it. Before this, this only became a full-time job to, for me really in September. Yeah. So I was doing it for like four years as like, obviously it still is my hobby, but like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just weird. And then he also said with that, do you think like it's all fake then? Because I were laid in bed and we're just like, oh shit, I need to post an Instagram. And like, I weren't, I don't know, it like, it was just like, do you think it's all fake and constructed? And there is a lot of talk on the fact that oh YouTube's all fake or Instagram's all fake and there've been certain YouTubers or certain Instagrammers that have quit because they said it is fake. Yeah. But like I were looking at myself in that point in that position and being like, is what I'm posting on Instagram real? And it is real in the sense Just that I real. feel like yeah, but I feel like in the sense that I'm putting out what is an accurate representation of me. Like yeah. I don't purposely go out and I'll purposely go out and take photos in certain outfits. But I don't purposely like construct a situation just to get an Instagram out of it. Yeah, like, and yeah. I feel like the word fake is used how it shouldn't be. I feel like yeah. it has different meanings. Yeah, to I feel like day. yeah, I feel like everyone perceives it in a different way. It's chucked yeah. around easy. People are like you're fake. I'm yeah. like, what do you mean though? Because it's like with with me with my Instagram specifically, like 
I edit my photos, it is very obvious, like, but I'm open about that, mm -hmm. and I literally have a video dissecting my Instagram photos where I've edited yeah. them. So in that sense, it's real of me to be like, oh yeah, but I do edit my photos and I'm open about it, and I would show like the, un like the unseen version or whatever, mm -hmm. but then it is fake of me to be altering myself, but I wouldn't say it's fake because I'm just I wouldn't call it I'm fake. just enhancing yeah, the features well. that like I wish makeup would do if that makes sense yeah I wouldn't call it fake mm. when I think of it though it's like I was sat because I don't edit like I used to edit my features and stuff like has said um I only filter a photo now that like, I really like I would never ever post an Instagram like a few years ago where I didn't like smooth my skin or I didn't do this or do that. But now I literally just like filter the photo and that's so it. The photo. That's because, one thing I don't do is all I do is yeah, I don't I really like fit, I don't yeah. do my skin or whatever. I just like move. But as well, you don't tend to filter a photo either. No, like, I only really recently. Just, yeah, I've started I'm like, to. Yeah, I'm like, it's filter Byron the filter. photo now. It's because Byron's feed is really like aesthetically it's pleasing. It's so aesthetically pleasing. And, and when you go on it, it's like, oh my god, that's so nice. I wish yeah, mine was okay. like that. And yeah. then I don't know why I don't. That's why. So I send a picture. Yeah, like, Byron's feed. Teacher. All of our texts <laughs> are just like, yeah. Byron, can you edit this, please? Like, yeah. but like, I don't think that's like, I wouldn't class that as fake because it's like, I'm not changing anything about the photo apart from like certain colors. The colors. I don't do it in a way to be like, oh my god, I want people to think this is amazing. No, I just no. it annoys me because I do photography and like everything visual to me is so important and it needs to look a certain yeah. way. And if it doesn't match, it just irritates me knowing. Like even other people's feeds, like has a little load of photo and I'm like, has it done match? Yeah. And it's yeah. like you with your thumbnails. Like if it doesn't yeah, look yeah. nice when you look at it in like a I like said a Byron every yeah. single thumbnail and I'm like, please it tell winds me. Up, I don't like, know why. I'm it's the just like OCD of me like I, don't I, don't I can't that sleep. If I know my Instagram feed shit, it's stressing me. Me too. But I don't I'm the complete opposite because I don't really like care that much about thumbnails and things. If I think the thumbnail itself is okay, then I never used to, and you guys know that. But if I just think that one thumbnail is fine, that's it, that's fine yeah. for me because yeah, I feel like it's such a waste of energy for me to be there, like, but oh, but it doesn't. It. You do. But I, absolutely I get such love a bust from you. Yeah, if you too. think about it, the amount of times that you have gone back and re edited all of your thumbnails, it's a joke. It like, is a joke, actually, and that yeah, time, exactly. I find it upsetting. And, and that, that time really could have been yeah, used. <laughs> if somebody so took all my thumbnails off, I would sit there and cry. Not I don't because I just relate. do it on videos. I actually wouldn't even. Yeah, just it's like it's just the way my brain works. I really can't relate. If it does. It doesn't look nice and it feels messy yeah. to me. Like it feels like that is why I'm very particular there. as well about what ads I do because if I can't, if they won't that's let like me do the ad my Instagram. way, so it looks right on my feed. Yeah, that's like I'm doing Instagram. it. See, I like don't that. really get ads that are like we like weird that I wouldn't be able to fit in. No, but even like I don't know, just for example. I use for example like a face mask. If they said like, do you know what I'm like? Do you, like yeah, if I, I could recently, do it in my way, I can't do it. Yeah, like recently I got asked to do like a clothing thing mm -hmm. and I did not like any of the clothes. Oh, and no, it so started off being the woman like, can you do an Instagram video? I mean a YouTube video, I'm like, I really cannot do that. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, what about an Instagram post? I'm like, honestly, my feed, like I can't, it stresses me out too much. And not only that, like, I wouldn't wear the clothes anyway, so I didn't yeah. want to do it. And then she's like, what about just a swipe up on your story? And I'm like, I really just can't do that. With and clothes, it's, it's so it's, weird. Clothes is very different because then that is like, I wouldn't want to put on something that I don't personally like. Yeah, so I sure yeah. could never do so that. So if I'm working with a, a fashion brand and they say pick the clothes, yeah, true. if I yeah, only yeah. have like, and this sounds really big headed, but I don't mean it like this, but if they give you like two pages, which is called the influencer page, mm -hmm. and I don't like anything on there, I just simply won't work with them. Won't work with because them. I don't want to promote something, that would be fake if I just, yeah. if I just wanted free clothes and I just promoted it for the sake of it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I want free, free clothes. ugly clothes. <laughs> no, you <laughs> free nice clothes. But that's what I'm saying, clothes. like, let's say a brand yeah, came to me and was like, I'm going to give you £100 to promote this. But it yeah. literally was a piece yeah, of tack. Really like I they could give it. me two grand and like six. Yeah. Not only call. that, it also just it's ruined the bonds that you've built. Yeah, like, yeah. I said that to the yeah, email. Yeah, the yeah. woman emailed me, and I was like, "All right, I've got like 50k followers. I'm really sounding like I'm really up my own ass." And I emailed back like, "Hi, I'm really proud of myself on like being like keeping a good relationship yeah. with my audience and like 100%. the people that follow me. I feel like mm -hmm. they know me. I feel like they're my friends. Like, I don't want to. I wouldn't say to my yeah. friend." All right, here's this ugly t-shirt, but buy it anyway. Like, I wouldn't do that. If Has yeah. turned to me, I'm like, should I get this t-shirt? And I didn't like it, I'd say no. So yeah. like the fact that I were promoting it to people who like, I may have never met, mm. but like yeah. that's just the relationship I have. I just, it don't feel bad. I, yeah. I'd, I'd rather people trust me. Yeah, yeah me too. Like, yeah. 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 I, so the same with me that you're on about, I literally yeah. sent an email and said, this doesn't suit my audience. 
Mm -hmm. and, and that was it. No yeah. shadow teeth of the company that I like. No, wearing. like it, it just yeah. didn't fit me personally. I just didn't think that I'd yeah. suit that because the clothes yeah. just weren't my fashion. It would just stand out like a sore thumb yeah. on my feet if I did something. I'd feel that so personally embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, me too. And no, I just couldn't. If It's like putting yourself in an uncomfortable position to be yeah. paid yeah. for that. Like, oh, no, I just don't. Also, understand. speaking of clothes, mm, yeah. going back to Instagram, when this guy was like, but do you think it's fake or do you think what you do is fake? And I, I literally got my phone out and looked down my Instagram. I was like, it's not fake, but like, and it is me and it is everything like I'm putting out there. But like, for example, the TP that me and my friends did in the um, living room the other day, we made like a TP or whatever, it's on my Instagram if you wanna go follow it. Um, but we made that and the first thing I did when I say I was like, right, before anyone even goes in it, I need to get an Instagram photo. I literally walked like, past and he was like, don't touch it. Yeah, but like, yeah. I didn't purposely think, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this TV up for Instagram. Mm. But the first thing yeah. I did after that, so I must have been thinking about it the entire way through. Like, I must have in the back of my mind been thinking, right, I can get an Instagram photo here. Because it wouldn't be the first thing that I went but to do. Yeah, but I feel like that's quite natural because I look like when I'm out and I see something pretty, I'm say. like, oh my God, please, yeah. please, yeah. please. Yeah, me too. Not because of why I'm mm. self-obsessed or I need to stare yeah, at myself. Yeah. Just because like, I get enjoyment out yeah. of going home, filtering all these, editing all these different photos, and then yeah. posting them on my screen. It's capturing screen. a moment, isn't it? It's like yeah. when we were ice skating, and like. But then, is it a moment if you're like having to I construct think it? it? Well, I, like when we yeah. were ice skating. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I get that. And I then that with your friends, it was solely because of like you guys were enjoying building it together, and then the end of it. Even Maddie as well, you mm. were all just like, oh my god, I just want to take a photo. Because yeah. then you look back on it and you'd be like, oh, I remember when we did that. Yeah, That's quite good. nice. Mm. Whereas when we go out and do shoot days, yeah. you as well, yeah. that's different. But then that is I solid. Well, the same because they're constructed. Yeah, and, and also, yourself, and is that real? But yeah, then, and that's, I think that's is. the question that people are like: Is that fake or is that real? Well, like, and then there is the because there are people like that do go out and like. We'll go to a cafe, buy a drink, and not even drink it. Oh, what we saw in Budapest. That's too much. That was we so went to a cafe bad. in Budapest, and this girl literally bought this big ass ice cream with like donuts and everything on it. Me and I bought them as well, but we actually ate them. Yeah. And I did buy it, the prettiest one, but I was going to eat it anyway. But I knew, like, I bought the prettiest one to take a photo of it and mm. then eat it. This girl bought like three of these like big ass donut things with ice cream and that in it, and just took a photo of it and walked out. Literally, like, was left, left on the, the thing on the side like that. Took a photo of it and then it just was went. Ridiculous. Like she didn't really even put the straw to her mouth. She literally just left it there and left. And I was like, that's mm. too that does far. that does baffle me. I could because yeah. that is wasting it. Like yeah, that's too far in my opinion. Like don't get me wrong. Like sometimes when I'm out and like if we're in a restaurant or something, my head does kind of spin in the way of would this look cute if I had the photo? Do you know what's really weird? Mine, like, I feel like I've got a different yeah, mindset I do. too. I think yeah, in do. tweets and everything is really bad. Like, like no, my like, brain thinks in tweets, like 140 characters, why didn't we 140 characters? My brain would think like that. Like, I no joke, dead ass. I, I think in, like, I think of a sentence and I think how I could tweet it. That is really, really bad. Yeah. Okay, I don't think like that. No, it's bad. Like, mm -hmm. situations happen, and the first thing I can think, like when we came out of the premiere the other day, and you said something to me, and the you went first checked. thing I thought to do was tweet it. We tweeted it, and, and then it's you not said like, check Twitter like two minutes yeah, later. Yeah, literally, as you finished typing it, I got my phone out and yeah. was tweeting it. But it's not even like, I don't know, my brain just thinks like, wow, that's a really funny tweet. Sometimes, you know I mean? yeah, yeah. If it's stuff like that, then I am like, oh, I'm going to go on Twitter and write that because it's funny. But I, but I don't think my mind works in the way you guys do in the sense that... I think our mind works yeah. a little bit different to yours, but you're, that's Yeah, not you're bad quite similar. All. But it's like, when when like we're at an event or something, and yeah. you'll be like, oh, how's like, let me just get a photo of you. You'll be like, stand there, like it looks really pretty with this and blah, blah. I, like in my opinion, I just be like, <laughs> Take a photo of me here, and in sure. the end, I went. In, yeah. I went with a photo. Of but that's me, because but. I'm very picky about what my feed looks like. Yeah, but that's what that I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just a visual thing. I feel like we're it's more a visual. visual. Thing. Yeah, I'd like to visual. be. I'd like to be how like you guys are, but I feel like my. Oh, how do I say it? Like my priorities mm. would more lie with like. It sounds stupid, but like I'd rather my makeup look good in a photo than the background, doesn't it? Yeah, so but that's because you're a makeup artist. Yeah. But yeah. that relates back to what you do. Like I yeah. do photography, so like yeah. everything in a photo, whether it's the makeup, whether it's this, whether it's that, it's all one. Whereas yeah. you don't set up a shot, you just yeah. know how to angle yeah. like the makeup. I prefer what I did first hand to be better than what is second hand. So for example, sense? if you had really nice makeup on, but I took a picture of you in front of like a rubbish dump, would you still post it? If, the um, good. if your makeup looks really nice. 
Depends what I look like after a filter, if that makes sense. <laughs> Depends like, what after face Okay, so if you looked amazing, but the background was literally like the shittest thing you could ever get, would you still The post most it? I would do with that is I'd post it on my story Sorry. and I'd be like, me with Byron, kiss, as a joke. So you'd put like, okay. Yeah. I'd put a sarcastic thing. But I know, but I know that in that moment I'd be like, oh no, can you not take a photo of me here? The, the bin's there. But then sometimes I didn't even notice and you're like, oh, can yeah. you move over a bit because I don't yeah. like the background? So because I'm having someone else take photos for me that has that mindset, yeah. I guess I kind of get the best of both worlds. Yeah. Does that make sense? But also in the sense, I went back to my Instagram again. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about YouTube as well as just yeah. Instagram. <laughs> like, I'm just like, we've got pointers in front of me. I'm like, right, I'm going to talk about this. Um, wow, this is fake in itself. Love that. Um, I was looking down my Instagram and I was thinking what about it would be fake if it was fake. And like I would think, like I would literally pull it apart my own Instagram feed. I like, but I think it's pretty genuine. And then I would like, so like the events that take place in these photos, genuine events. Mm -hmm. Me in these photos, I'm not enhancing my body in any way. I'm not posing in a way that I don't think looks different to how I look in real life. I'm being me in the photos. And then I would like, but the clothes I'm wearing aren't always my clothes. Now. I don't, I've never said this online before, but a lot recently, I really want to make my Instagram more fashion forward and I've said this, but I can't afford to be like super fashionable all the time. But what I do and what I've started doing is buying clothes, wearing them for an Instagram photo and then returning them purely because I can't afford not yeah. to. But then I don't think that's fake. But then- I don't. They're not my clothes. So like I'm wearing clothes that aren't mine. But flesh. I just think- but I'm not showcasing them, I'm not being like, oh my god, look at this top that I bought. Like, I'm not, I just think that's I'm making just, the yeah, most of, it's making the most of what you've got. Like, yeah. you, it's you being tactical to get somewhere further so get that you can further. be at that point. I agree with and you. I think that's really clever, because I, I do the same. I do it for my videos as well, like, ordering a bunch of clothes and then sending it back. I personally don't because I never was really smart enough to think of doing that. Really? I just think like, 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 like I just never really thought of it like that. Yeah. And then when you guys said you did it, I was like, oh wow. I didn't know you learned until like, uni. Like uni taught me that. Yeah, I and I see Instagrammers all the time, and successful fashion Instagram bloggers or whatever. And I think they've either got a lot of money to be being able to do this. They've either got a lot of money to be able to afford to buy all these designer clothes or buy all these current clothes because the only way people are following it to keep up with these fashion styles is what's current. So you can't start showing things that you bought like last Christmas or when someone asked you where it's from and you bought it three years ago in Primark sale. Yeah, like exactly. you can't do that because no one's you like that that's used not to the be aim me of it. With the majority of so what I yeah, but what I realised is these people either have to have a lot of money to keep it up, it's their full time job doing this or they get sent it for free. And I didn't fit into any of them. Like, it's not my full-time yeah. job. I can't afford to buy all these designer clothes yeah, and I don't get sent it for free. Mm -hmm. So I've got to somehow keep up with that whilst being a student, not earning a lot of money, and then still wanting to potentially be in a position where people do send me clothes and it is my job. Yeah. So I figured out is, I can wear these clothes and put them on my Instagram. And people can see me wearing them. I can tag the outfits, do whatever the hell I want with it but I'm not actually spending the money because I'm returning it. And I realise that I can do that and it works to my advantage, so I do it. Yeah. Not necessarily I want people to be like, oh my god, Byron's got that new jacket that just came out. But that like, opens like, new doors for me because it makes me wonder if other people do that. I feel like I, re people I reckon do. there's two I like categories. A lot of people do. I reckon there's people that can afford it and they probably just keep it and mm. have wardrobes full of it. Or there's people like us who do the whole buying it sending it back or they do the buying it and selling it on depop because yeah. there's so many people that are in fashion for example gully guy leo is a plain yeah, example yeah. he's he it's didn't have that well. much at all and then he'd buy he'd save up his money buy one piece of clothing shoot it sell it on and then that's yeah, that literally is just how depop works anyway but then it's like big. I feel like there is that two categories it's either your job and you can the you like mm. can afford to do it and you keep the clothes or you, you do, I feel like a lot of people do return it. That's what I mean, it's making the most of what so you've got. But then that's like a little insider tip, I would say. Yeah. yeah because I if I knew that from ye like years ago, I, I would have been in a different Instagram position now. So yeah, that's better. what I mean. I knew that. Yeah, but that's what I mean, like we were going to do a shoot where we just bought like neon clothing and we matched yeah. and then we were just going to return it. Yeah. But then we never ended up doing it. You did it by yourself, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. But then like you can, I guess you can then like visualize your feed and create it so that it's like appealing to the current trends. Yeah. yeah, and I would. I think it depends I think what. I think it depends what category you fall into, because like I feel like fashion Instagram as opposed to like a lifestyle Instagram is completely different. Like or like a fashion yeah. blogger as opposed to a lifestyle like a, just a vlogger. Yeah, so yeah, like say a vlogger good. like you, for example, daily vlogs, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. If you started, like 
incorporating like high end things into your vlogs and like pretending like say if you bought a bunch of clothes and incorporated them to just a standard daily vlog yeah. you're like hi guys look at my new bag mm -hmm. and then you send it back then I think that's that different would be that's but, quite then, but then there is people on Instagram that will buy the clothes and then say they got sent it and put hashtag ads yeah I there see, is people like that I see that but what I'm saying is I like I don't understand why people do that no so I don't then know. I think it's really to then get it. further promotion but yeah. that doesn't work they probably mm. think it does because that really, company knows that they aren't sending it, yeah. So they're yeah. not going to send it. Yeah, so I, do, I don't know. Hot. I just find that really weird. I've, I've seen. That, I know. Like I've seen quite a few people do it, and I guess like eventually it would work if people liked your content and then like you got bigger. Does that make sense? But so I it's like you're faking it. Putting till you're ad, making yeah, it. putting ad on every single yeah. post. It's like for me. When I, before I got any work from Urban Outfitters themselves, mm -hmm. I were posting photos wearing Urban Outfitters things and tagging them. I didn't say, because I oh, wasn't, that's that's but that's how I got the work from Urban Outfitters. Yeah, they wouldn't have found me if I weren't wearing their clothes, creating like lifestyle at home yeah. like shots but you and tagging them. But you weren't they saying weren't. that like you sent, they Yeah, so I feel like people it. that try and do it by saying it's an ad, mm -hmm. I don't think, I don't see how that could work. No, no. it literally is faking it to you, mate. I don't think that's the same as you, like I would, literally like i bought all my clothes from misguided and pretty little thing yeah i tagged them all the time and then they want misguided yeah. and pretty little things said yeah. we'd love to make a video with yeah. you so like but that wasn't through me putting hashtag yeah that was me with so. makeup because i just i there was like a whole year where i just i needed to get into uni so i just created a whole portfolio and every yeah. single brand product that i used i just tagged it on instagram and then brands would repost me mm -hmm. even though that's i bought like, the product myself like urban. Urban would yeah me exactly well. and then like I think the first brand that ever contacted me makeup wise was Sigma and I was like yeah. over the moon so I was like what the hell and then that's yeah. when I first got my PR package from them but it was like I I wouldn't even say that's fake really because I didn't say I got sent it or anything like that I, I like was just tagging them like you said you were yeah. and it also depends on what type of person you are like for example like we said we do daily vlogging if you ordered a bunch of clothes and played them off in a video if you ordered a bunch of clothes put them on an Instagram story doing a haul mm -hmm. I don't think that's fake but I think mm -hmm. if you started getting them out like in a Instagram, and, yeah. in, in your vlog, and like wearing this bag, and like guys look at my new bag. And but then at the end, as when you turn the camera off, you packaged it up yeah. and, sent it, and back. sent it back. Then I think that's weird. But in the sense of Instagram, because you're I don't giving think people it a is. false, not yeah. a false reality. It is yeah, a false I guess reality. It is, but yeah. Because I'm thinking, oh my god, Anna's got that bag, and then you come to my house, and it's not that You'll bag. You'll be like, where is that? And I'll be like, oh, yeah. I don't even have no sense of bag. Like, yeah. yeah. I, but I feel like people do do that, and that's what I think I would categorize as fake. That's what I was gonna say. Like, you can fake. I feel like you can fake videos and fake vlogs a lot more. So even like people pretending to be different on camera to how they actually are. So like as soon as the camera turns on, they're completely different. That is fake to an extent because it isn't the real person. Does that make sense? So like yeah. you could be here, I don't know, talking crap about someone and then you turn on the camera and you're like, oh my God, I absolutely love this person so, so much. Yeah, and then I the camera that's... turns off and you're back to the same I don't think that's fake, I think mean, that's too first. But I think that's, yeah. I won't say that, that person's a fake person, I just mm. say, well that person's a liar, like, that yeah. person's not. Well like, that was probably a bad example then, I mean like. I know what you mean, like yeah. if someone's super enthusiastic and, on Yeah, camera. and then as soon as it turns off it's yeah. like, I know but I change on point. camera when I talk, like the well, way I like, talk on camera is different. I just have like a heightened voice. Yeah, that's like, like me. It just I goes behind really... because I'm like yeah. excited, like I'm yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Like mm. it's not, I, I wouldn't call it fake at all, I yeah. just like, it's just a heightened version of my yeah. personality yeah but then you like me because i like, personally know you yeah you are like that off camera as well it's like when me and byron film like she'd be put together yeah. when the camera's not there we'll you still are, be like that yeah, yeah still and like that's that. the same as you yeah. so that's why i know like that's not fake i feel like sense. i've heard quite a few people say like when you'd be like hey and welcome back to my channel people are like that's so fake because you're saying that i'm like no it's not it's not, not. it's a really like if you walked up to someone in the street i'm like oh you know it People like, yeah. yeah. They'd be like, what's up with you? They'd be like, what's up with you? Yeah. Exactly. And you would be like, oh my god, hi. Yeah. They're like, nah, it's like greeting someone yeah. in a positive way. So like, so if I walked into a shop and shopkeeper were like, how you alright? I'd be like, oh my god. Yeah. It depends yeah. how much you But that's like, like a YouTube video. If you yeah. click on the YouTube video and they're like, that's how I'm talking about you. I'm like, yeah. what's up with you then, rude bitch? Like, bye, see ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, completely. It's I like don't, walking into a shop. It's there's also that argument, and I'm not saying this is my argument, but I know a lot of people say it, where it's like, Oh, but if you're not happy, then why don't you show that? So, like, you know how if someone's having a really crap day but they need to film, they'll then be on camera really enthusiastic and happy. So many people will be calling that fake. I personally don't think so because I think it's I mean, like it you have to, you have to like build yourself up to I film feel like that. you just can't really win with it. 
yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like because then if you show too much, people are like, oh, oh yeah, I got yeah. a comment on my, I think it was my vlog the other day, and it was of somebody saying that. I think in like passing, I was just like, oh god, what the hell do I look like? But I didn't say that. It was something similar. And somebody put a comment, they were like, you really need to be careful with what you're saying that because you're going to make people feel insecure about themselves. And I really sat there and thought about that comment and I was like, I don't think I am. Like, I'm just being like... Yourself. I can't explain it. Yeah, like, I just said what I was thinking. Yeah. And I thought, I don't look my best right now. But people are just and, like, too... I don't people are too to chat. Yeah, people yeah, are I too think, critical. I think the whole thing with YouTube, you're never going to win with anything. No. Because there's always going to be something people that, Yeah, say. like, it's a platform where people are allowed to give you're, their like, opinions. Yeah, if we put stuff out there, we have to understand that people are going to have their opinions yeah. on it. And we have to not... Some people's opinions are there's a line. Rude. There's, there's a, a line. line. That that there is a line. Not cross. But I also have to try and respect yeah. that I'm putting myself out there. And if you want to have a say on me, you can have a say on me. Don't cross that line. Yeah. But I get, I do get that. But then, like, I know that these people wouldn't say it in person. Would say so it in it's person, as if YouTube yeah. has given people a leeway to literally bully people. It's definitely which made is me annoying. It's definitely made me numb to it though. Like yeah. people can say things now, and like even if I'm insecure about them myself, I'm just like you know. It just what? goes over your head, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's my just, it goes over my, my head. insecurities now don't lie with what other people will tell me. It's like what I've personally felt. I never, yeah, yeah. But then you always have that argument, like oh yeah, but they put them in your head. But they literally haven't like oh, no right, one, and not a single person has ever told me my what I'm actually insecure about. Does that make sense? Yeah, same with me. Same. Like, no one's yeah. ever picked up on what no, I actually think. Yeah. I'm so like about. you know, my nose, hate it. There's not a single person in my life that has ever said my nose is like yeah, sure, like yeah. that I need to change it or anything. The the most thing that I ever like get comments about that are quite nasty is like my eyes, but I love my eyes, so that's yeah. really weird. So it's like I just think as going back to the point before, people wouldn't ever say it to your face and it's like they've finally been given that platform mm -hmm. to be nasty to someone. I don't, I don't know why they would, but like people do. A lot of the time it's jealousy. It is. But then they're they jealous do. of, like, then you can just look at it and it goes around in a circle, like they're yeah. jealous of a fake life, or what are they jealous of? But that's of? the annoying thing, like, if they had a camera, and if they put their life on there as well, they it's would, oh my god, hard. they would probably have so much, like, so let's say they filmed their life for the day, so many people would have so much to say about that, yeah. because they haven't filtered it, yeah. do you know what I mean? Whereas, like, we don't really filter ourselves that much, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't yeah, think I do. What do you mean? No, I'm laughing no. because I really do not. So, like, if Byron says something, and I'll be like, Byron, that's a bit oh, too right, far. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't really think we felt ourselves that much. Like, we are quite ourselves. However, if you have a bigger following, you run that risk of you do have to filter yourself. I, not saying I have a bigger following or whatever, I'm just saying my opinion. Yeah. I just have a line because I know that younger people watch me, and I know, for instance, my little brother watches yeah, my videos. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, okay, I swear. Mm a bit in yeah. real life would i sit here and say some of the things i would to my friends absolutely not oh, no and same. also it's the yeah. fact that you edit it back if you didn't edit your own videos back yeah, yeah. i think it'd be different yeah so yeah. like if i didn't edit if i didn't re-watch what i like what i'm saying now so you guys i can't like pause this and go back and take a word out or like yeah. go back and mm -hmm. re undo the fuck that i just said yeah but on a video you hear it back and i'm like not that it's fake to say it like because you're taking it out and it's like sort of why say it in the first place if you're going to remove it then but it's like i don't think now to be like like i don't forward think and be like if i swear now i'm just swearing like once it's mm. gone once it's said now it's gone yeah. but on a video because it's like there people can re-watch it and re-watch it and re-watch it I just when i edit yeah. it back i hear it back i'm like why did i say that you get like, to no, see no, it from a different perspective out, that's like, why like yeah. in some instances i think it's really funny when you're having a joke and like it just not fits because i don't think do you know, I don't yeah, know, no, I get you. But I like, swear all the fucking time. Like, <laughs> yeah. If I was sat there talking about a makeup product and I said like something that I like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, this is absolutely insane. Like, yeah. I just wouldn't say that. Yeah. Like I just, yeah. I don't know the way it sounds when I watch myself. Yeah. And like, wow, and like. Yeah. Yeah, I know, do you know what, what I mean. mean. Yeah, yeah, I think that's how you like how you've been brought up. Because yeah. like it's like I would never send my mum a video of me being like, Mum, look at this fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even though she watches my vlogs. Or my nan, I'll be like, what's up, yeah. kid? Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I like, wouldn't even I'm do quite different in the sense of that though, because obviously I grew up with my nan, so like, whatever I say, my nan's kind of used to now, does that make sense? Me, yeah, that's the same thing. In my videos, mom. like, yeah. Yeah. in my videos, I swear, like, my mum's heard me say yeah. every single swear word on it, so. Oh yeah, so. But I never, mom. she's never heard me say it in real life. My nan has, oh, but I'm only upset. my nan's no. only really ever heard me say it when I'm like joking. So it's kitty girls, stop kitty recording. Girls. Um, my nan's never heard me like swear like just randomly. So if I was swearing twenty four seven in this sentence, mm -hmm. then she'd be like, 
why, why are you doing that? Like, there's no need for it. Yeah. But if I've sworn in anger or like I'm upset or something, I think if it's been yeah. called for, I just if like, it's been called for, out. I'd even call it out. Yeah, yeah I'd be like, there isn't no need to be that vulgar. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but like I find it weird out that like, I swear so much. I just mute so it out. If if like I oh watch God, it back and I think it's like yeah, me too. too I much. won't like, I mute the thing. Cover my mouth or whatever. I'll just mute it. Yeah, because yeah. then I prefer the sentence without the in. Yeah, because watch it back. It didn't really need to be in there. Yeah. So I guess that yeah, is that's like. What I do. But then I still wouldn't call that fake. It's just censoring for an audience so that they don't have to like. It's not. I don't even think about the people that watch my videos. Oh, see, I do. Like, I don't censor for, like, I don't really censor my videos anyway. So I don't really feel like I can speak on it. But like. I, if I swore like too much in a sentence and I'm like, oh my god, right, I really do need to say fuck like 18 times, but like we get it, that like the OS lip balm's really cool. Um, <laughs> I'd just cut it out for me, like, because when I, yeah. I know like in my head, if, if it wasn't, if I just saw that video and I'm like, oh, this fucking thing, I will walk into the fucking shop. I'd be like, you, you, you walk into the fucking shop, like we get it, like you don't need to take, yeah. you don't need to say you walk into the fucking shop, you walk into the shop babe, calm yeah. down. But that's why I, I mean, just take so... it out for my own thing, because I know what I'm like when I watch other people's videos. But then videos. you did just say that, like, when you're watching someone else's, so technically you are thinking from an audience. And but I'm thinking about it. me, like, I don't care if like yeah. a 12 year old's yeah. watching me or a 30 year old's watching me. That's I'm I thinking think, of it, but... if I were to watch this video and I would saw someone say, I'm just walking the fucking dog, yeah. I'm like, you're walking dog babe, like you don't need to say you're fucking walking is. the dog. It still is a Do you know what I, mean? I, think, I think I'm a little bit different in, that's what I mean you differ, like I make my videos for me but I am, mindful just because I know that a lot of younger people watch them mm. yeah. and I wouldn't want I think it's embarrassing. Like I, I it's personally embarrassing. <laughs> No but I do think, no, it's I, think... I think it's embarrassing. No because I've been in urban outfitters where like a viewer that's come up to me that I know has found me through you and they're really young and yeah. they come up to me the mom and I just sit there it and think whether me. they watch my videos or not or just see me in your vlogs. Yeah. Yeah. If they've gone on my channel and seen what I talk about and seen the way I am, like I felt embarrassed that this like That's this insane, girl, little girl, like a tiny innocent There's girl, like, came yeah. up to me and asked for a photo, and I'm like. Yeah. Whether she's watched my vlogs or not, I'm just really not the type of person she should be watching. Yeah, yeah there's growing up with my audience, which I feel like I am doing, because I used to be very like airy-fairy, and I'm yeah. definitely not anymore. And now you're like Harry Mary. And, uh, <laughs> and, yeah, but now I'm just a bit more like, you know what, sod it. Yeah. But there's also like, I'm like, I've got to keep it on a professional level as well. Yeah, And I'm also like, I am very mindful that I've met six-year-olds. And I'm yeah. like, if I saw a little, no, sorry, if I saw a work about that, if you saw like a word him. like that, like that my little years. brother's mouth, yeah. I would flip. Yeah. Like yeah. he heard me and mum have a conversation once and he repeated one of the words the next day and I've never felt more disappointed yeah. in myself. Yeah, that's that. like me. When that little girl came up to me and she was like, oh my god, I love your videos. I didn't know if she was saying it because she, like people just said like, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I knew she came from your channel because she was like, because she were young. Mm -hmm. So whether she just saw me in your vlogs or whether she like watched my channel, I just went back and I was thinking, Oh my god, like I just posted a vlog today and I can remember me and Has doing this skit and we were joking about sex or whatever. I and then I'm like, oh fuck, like that little girl. But, then... <laughs> but that little girl's watched that, like yeah. she may have just been lying, but if she's not lying and she's telling the truth and she has actually watched me and Has like joking around like that, I'm really like embarrassed that like yeah, yeah. I was the one but, that did that for that girl. But the thing I mean? is, is that, so you've got the fact that you need to censor yourself because you what we've just said yeah. and what parents have to monitor so if a six-year-old is allowed on youtube freely without their parents acknowledging what they're watching then that is the like it lies on you I and the parent why, does that make sense yeah i see yeah. that but like as a kid i'd watch like my mom and dad like wouldn't let me watch anything, but like my mum and dad wouldn't know what I were watching, sort of thing. My I'm completely different. I yeah, see what I mean. I'm if I were watching I someone monitored. like no, see, I were monitored, but like I weren't like my mum and dad would see what I'm watching. Like from if someone what clicked on my YouTube channel, just looked at it, didn't click on any videos, they wouldn't think that yeah, like yeah. you'd like your kid. I feel like my channel looks pretty presentable, mm -hmm. but when you actually start watching it. It's a bit like, oh, do you know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, we'll move on to like. Um, I have now we're on one YouTube. more thing All right, go on. on that though. Oh, yeah. I feel like you know, like I don't know if it's ever happened to you guys, but when parents have come up to you and said like, "Thank yeah. you for like making my kid whatever," that would break my heart if a parent knew. Yeah. That yeah but if I a parent like, came up to me and yeah, and yeah, said yeah. like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I'm, yeah. I don't know how to explain so it. So if a parent came up to you and said you need to like monitor what you're saying or something, that would... That would like break my heart. Mm. Because like I want to like try and do my best for their child yeah, and really show true. them like the best of life and like what you can hopefully make of yourself. Mm. And not sit there and be like, 
if that. But then like, that's going, just... going back to before, if that child is that young, let's say it's six, like we were saying before, my little sister's seven. No, but it's not know, that low. No, I know that my mom watches my videos with my little sister, and if I say something bad, she's like, oh, I'm just going to turn this down and we can watch it, and then they play it. And yeah, she's not, like, not everybody's monitoring. But not even yeah. that, like, at Sitsi, like, people were coming up to me with the parents, and the, like, the kid, like, say if even someone my age, watch my videos and they were with their mom, mm. I'd be still really embarrassed that their mom's heard me swear. Because I never ever yeah, swear. Yeah, me too, it doesn't really matter. Like, it doesn't matter the age. Like, like, oh, just God. someone who's older than me and like is a parent and like, just the idea of like, if that were my mum, would I swear in front of that person? No. Yeah. Like, or a family oh, relative, no. I've no. had like, like... I would never, like, I've your nan's had heard me swear so yeah. much on my vlogs, but I would never ever say a swear word in front of your nan. Just because it really? would cringe me out like, and feel so embarrassed. If I, I don't know, I'm really different. I think once a swear word slipped out in front of my nan and I couldn't stop thinking about it for the like, yeah. Really? The day. I That's feel like, like well. so I was brought up as in the sense of like, you shouldn't swear and everything. I obviously did have a good upbringing. But I don't know. You were dragged up. <laughs> it sounds like, no, what I'm about to say, it makes me sound like I had a really shit upbringing, yeah, but I didn't. That, like... Yeah, but I feel like other people don't. Yeah. But then, like, I don't know what it was, but for some reason, if, like, I can just freely swear in front of my nan, she can freely swear in front of me. But I can in front of, of your mum as well. Like, your, I'll, I'll say something by accident if I'm on the phone, mm. and your mum will be like, Harriet, and I'll just be like laughing, and then she'll say yeah. it back to me. No, but I, mean? I like, have that it's a joke. My mum. my mum has definitely said to me, like, oh, Stop it. Yeah. But I'm like, but then she'll go off of fuck sake. That's her. never like, happened to me. I feel like, like me. I don't feel like anyone's ever told me to not because if I, I know swore, when not to swear. Yeah, me too. Yeah. If my I swear in front of my mum, yeah, that's so like mom that's like my mum and dad. They they like they know that I swear. Yeah. And yeah like if do. I swore in front of my mum, she wouldn't genuinely be like disappointed in me. She'd be like yeah. Byron, but she wouldn't mm, be yeah. genuinely like oh my god he swore. But it's just like she doesn't. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like some people's parents would be like, "Oh my god, it's if my kids like just done yeah. that." But like, I don't know. But then weird. around your friends, it this sounds really weird. But around your friends, you would if you do swear. Around your friends, you would, wouldn't you? I feel like it's because I'm that close to my nan that I I can. Yeah. I feel like I can. But I'm really swear. close to my mom and dad as well. I like, guess I tell just, my mom and dad everything. Yeah, that's. I feel like but that's just, two like, different. I feel like it depends. Clothes. I think it's just different for everyone. I don't, yeah, I, I like spend a lot of time with my nan, so I guess that's why I like feel so comfortable as if it is like a friend. Does that make sense? Like ages ago, yeah, if I swore, she'd be like, "Oh, I, I, can you not say a different word or something?" Or she would just go like, "Oh, Harriet or something." But now, it I feel like it just differs. Like, I don't even think it's the yeah. I think it just differs. Yeah, I, I think, think it, it just differs from person. Because I'm yeah. so close to my parents, but I would never like swear in front of them. Yeah, I guess it is just different for different it just people. Is different. Yeah, and then I'm really close. I'm close to my mum, but I swear in front of her. I think it generally just differs. Yeah, I don't them. think it's wrong or right either. I don't. I think don't it's know. A wrong I wouldn't know. Right. Yeah, yeah. it's a wrong or right. No. But I don't think like censoring a video is classed as fake. No. Anyway, I don't like now it. we're on the topic of YouTube. I've got in this little note section about. Um, in fact, Anna, you wrote, does money change a creator and do they start relating to their audience? Yeah, audience. And then I wrote in brackets and Zoe and Alfie next to it. Do you want to start that or do you want me to start it? Right, so basically I wrote Zoe and Alfie next to that because I think it's quite interesting how more so now, like, I would always, like, try and figure out why if someone were big at one point is now, like, not as big or, like, I don't know, the whole business side of YouTube really interests me. So like, yeah, I too. look at everyone's like stats, not for like, oh my God, I'm this like, person's doing this. No, but I just like to, yeah, I like to see. Why it's changed. Yeah, and, and I like. What people watch in to order thing, I don't want to watch that. Yeah, like I really like, whether that person might have just grown up or whether the creator is doing something different or whether the audience is just not interested anymore. Like, I don't know, it just fascinates me. Like, because I grew up watching like Zoe and Alfie and yeah, everyone. Yeah, me too. I still watch them like every single video they upload. I'm there like straight away. So, to I'm going to be honest, I don't. I don't well, either. Then, I only watch Mark and Zoe because Byron shows me their videos together and I think they are hilarious. I will like occasionally watch the, like Alfie and Zoe, their new podcast. I'm yeah, also yeah. Watch See, Mark's for me, I watch podcast. every single Mark, Zoe, Alfie. Even Tanya still. The only person I stopped watching is Jim Chapman. Out of that entire group, I still there watch There isn't, Locks there isn't a single person that and I. And Louise Penland actually. There's not a single watching. person that I grew up watching that I still watch. There Jim. really isn't. I didn't used to watch him. But as well, but the thing is now I feel I like it's so apparent that, Pete, there's like this thing of a YouTuber's got money, so they're not relatable. I'm stopping watching. But well, is that necessarily true? I feel like it's a vicious circle. Just using Zoe and Alfie as an example, because obviously. 
I don't know how long Alfie was doing it. I more watched Zoe, but like she's obviously been doing it for like ten, however many years. Yeah. She started off as this like young yeah. girl. Like how old was she? I don't know. I can't remember. Like 16, sure. 17, I think, because she's like 27, 28 now. She really so she was young. around like my age is mm. when she started, and she was this kind of like airy fairy beauty guru doing her hair like the whole yeah. step when, 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 down, her first when she had every day makeup routine when she did her yeah. four easy and quick hairstyles I fucking lost it like yeah like do you yeah, know what I, mean? I know what you mean uh, but now obviously she's growing up as a person she is a full adult yeah. she has earned a lot of money through doing YouTube and it's like people get attached to the idea of seeing her as what she used to be yeah so and I, then I just feel like because she's grown up into a uh, person that her audience doesn't reference. don't relate to because I think with like with like youtubers or celebrities or anything for you there's two types of like people watch the Kardashians because it's ridiculously rich like no one can relate that's to them that's me Jeffree Star yeah but yeah. that's what I mean like these are Jeffree Stars and then there's like the Kardashians Kylie Jenner no one can relate to it we're all obsessed She's by it and we watch it I yeah. find it funny we I watch the Kardashians because I'm so fascinated at the fact that they've got so much money like whether we like it or not, like we no, watch them because mm. all they do is show off like, what they've but got. If they were dull yeah. people, like if their personalities were dull, I don't think we'd watch them. No, but as well, but not even in that sense. But what I'm saying is like people watch Zoe and Alfie because they could relate to them because they're like everyday people. So you either are the everyday person or you've got money. If you're in between, where like Zoe and Alfie are, they was was the everyday person, but now they're not the Jeffrey Star. But, then I but they do have a lot of money. This is like the in-between stage where it's like, well, I can't really relate to them, but they are a normal person, so I'm not like excited by the fact that they've got this money, but then I can't relate to the facts because they've got this money. Yeah, I feel a bit sorry for Zoe now, because I feel like they're stuck. Yeah, but I feel like they've rebranded themselves quite good, especially with that podcast. What have they rebranded themselves in? So like, podcast example, Alfie obviously used to be quite PG, and then eventually in his vlogs and things, he started being less PG and people were picking up on it. And like saying to him like oh I, I this isn't the Alfie that I once knew and all this but then when he did this podcast he did literally say like it's a new style of content I am just gonna be myself mm -hmm. and everyone loved it because I guess he did kind so of give that pre-warning it's fine don't worry I guess he kind of did give that like pre-warning and it was so true. funny like it literally was so funny like when yeah. like the really stuff that they that. said yeah because it's like they went from being completely PG to just completely being themselves does that make sense yeah, yeah, I get you. I feel sorry for Zoe because I feel like obviously I can't judge somebody's happiness. Mm. But I look at her and I'm just like, she like, I just feel like she's so stuck because she always she does, spoke about this in a vlog. Yeah, I remember you showed she me the vlog. I is like, I'm not even like a fan like. When I speak about Zoe and Alfie and this whole crew, I'm not like a fan girl. Like I would never like. I don't know. I feel like when I say, oh my god, I'm there straight away watching the videos, but I'm not there like, oh my god, like. But I just, I've grown up watching them, so I feel like, yeah. I don't know, I, I would support them in whatever they did personally because like, they were the reason that I started doing you started, YouTube, yeah. and like, it's sort of full circle, like, I don't know, I've just grown up watching them and like, that's what I've always aspired to be, and like, without yeah. them doing it, I probably wouldn't do it myself. It's like, I think me and you had the conversation about it, like, if she did, like, an old school video, yeah. What would people's reactions be? If she did like a 24 hour challenge, people would be like, you're trying too hard. Yeah. If she did like, you're an trying old hard school stay video. Like, They'll be like, you're not putting any effort in. Like, we want you to do this. But then yeah. if she did that, then people would be like, I don't like this. It's like, whatever she does, she's like she in the middle of band, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's what I mean fair. though. Like, there's the, the, not even just in terms of money, but there's the people that everyone can relate to, whatever they're doing, whether it's financially, like, just doing activities that other people can relate to doing as well. Or like, you either live a, like, a super, like, exciting, like, I don't know, it's really hard to like but put into words so what I'm trying to say. But then there's just so many different like brackets, I guess you'd call it, on YouTube. So you've got the people such as like Emma Chamberlain and people but like she's... that whose content aren't like, they're not mainstream content. But the thing is, Emma Chamberlain is getting a lot of views and getting a lot of recognition because she's relating to teenagers. Yeah. Like, our age group now, not really got a lot of money, don't really know what the fuck they're doing with their life. Yeah. Coffee, like all the sort of things that Emma Chamberlain is, mm. is she's, very relatable to She's us. not relating to six year olds. She's yeah. not relating to six year olds, but she's not relating to 35 year olds. No. She's not relating to 26 she year olds. She has a set type yeah. of audience. Yeah. So, but what I don't I, think she went into it thinking like that though. No, she, she won't, no, but yeah, she's just being herself because people yeah. relate to people that they seem yeah. to. Yeah. And that's why I mean like with Zoe and Alfie, now they've moved out of the like, Bit that they can like be known as relating to it's like this sort of middle ground where people are like right we know you've got a lot of money like we, I can't really relate to the fact that like you do you know what I mean I can't relate to the fact that 
they're doing these activities, not that it'd put me off watching them, because I'm not like it, that type yeah, of I'm person. Yeah, I'm not like that. It but I feel like a lot of people them. are, because like Shane Dawson, we know Shane Dawson's got a lot of money. Like he's yeah. in a fuck ton of money. But if he acted like Jake Paul, he's probably got the same amount of money as Jake Paul. Let's be honest. Yeah. Maybe a little bit less. But if if. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's me. Sorry. <laughs> if Shane Dawson had a massive ass mansion, were parading around in every car known to man, big gold chains on, I don't think he'd be re as respected and as like Shane Dawson as he is. Well, that like, is. But I feel like that's because people. Do you think he's being fake? No, but that is a plain example I don't think because he's whenever fake. he like, that's what so whenever Shane puts on this like queen outfit and pretends to be bougie and everything like people find it funny but he has he literally has the actual thing so he'll have like the gucci sides and things yeah like he only the, brings there's it a photo of shane dawson's <laughs> yeah. my favorite thing he's running in balenciaga runners and i was so shocked by yeah. it but that's the thing like he's he has them he's, he just but he's done it purposely that's the purpose like yeah. zoe and alfie could have pretended like they never like earned any of this money could have like only showed parts of the house that look like a normal like yeah. middle class house like shane does shane doesn't live in a big house but I think he chooses not it to. It the is. house that he was in before he's recently moved. I it's think not like it is quite. No, I, I think it was quite that. a big. Yeah, I think. Are you on about the one that he showed in the Jeffrey Star? The one. Yeah. That, no, the, I don't think yeah, the one that he lived in was Ireland. But like, the pool is bigger than my whole house. Yeah, but I mean, like, the, if, if it didn't have a pool and that were on a council estate in the UK, it's still in a very there. high part. I of think. LA. I think it is quite. I don't know, but like that's a conscious decision made by Shane to appeal to that audience. Yeah. Do you think he's doing it because he wants to stay relatable? Yeah. I don't. I think he's just that kind of person that doesn't feel like he needs to show stuff I don't off. feel like he needs to show stuff off, but I think if he weren't a YouTuber and he was still earning the amount of money, I think he'd be completely I really don't. I just feel no, like I, think he does. I, I love Shane it. and I think he is very genuine, I think but he's I feel like he's got clever. the whole YouTube scene down yeah. to a T in his head. And, and the thing, thing is, is picture it like books, this. And he's going to use it to his advantage. Yeah, so like picture it like this. But... Shane Dawson is an accountant never been set foot on any social media, no one knows who he is, but he earns the same amount of money as he's earning now working in an office for an accountant there. He'd have a nice flashy car, he'd have a nice flashy house, but and he he'd be wearing designer shit. He has that, but he just doesn't But that's what I'm own. saying. But then is that him being fake? Because I no, feel, because but I feel like if he weren't on YouTube, he would be No, because then the like accountant... see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, but then the accountant saying, doesn't but... have the camera to like be showing off he doesn't need to film his life does that make sense so like he's living in his own little bubble he could be going to be like hi yeah i'm shane i've got a like the newest range rover whatever i have a massive house do you want to come see it i'm a billionaire like i feel like it's a question that's not ever gonna have an answer yeah but i think shane knows what he's doing in that sense yeah i, think I don't shane think knows he's, what he's doing. i don't think he's just been like oh i'm shane dawson like i don't need to do that like i absolutely no. love shane i'm not being yeah. like oh my god shane dawson's fake or whatever but i'm saying like i feel like it's really strategic that he knows what to show, what not to show, how to dress, how it's not to dress. It's because he's been in it for so long. But I feel like he's wor working it to his advantage, which I don't blame him because it's working. But I feel like mm. Jeffree Star couldn't all of a sudden turn around and be like, like not show any Gucci or like not show anything because that is why people that watch him. That is why people watch him. I watch Jeffrey and my mum as well because I find it so entertaining. Mm. The fact that like he cut up a Louis Vuitton bag for a Halloween costume. Yeah, and it's like even with you, my cousin doesn't watch any YouTube. I've subscribed to everyone that I'm subscribed to on her phone. Yeah. And she's like, oh my God, I love Anna's vlogs because she's just so normal. I like what do you mean? She's like, I love the fact that her little brother's in him and that her mum's in him. And she's like, mm. and honestly, when like her mum's in it and like her mum's not pretending to like, be someone she's not and her mum's a single mum sometimes struggling mm -hmm. but she's honest about it my cousin like i absolutely love like i do not watch anyone on youtube but i'll watch hannah's vlogs for the pure fact that she's not trying to be anyone she's not and she's like yeah. i love the fact that her brother's in it and like they don't like tell her brother to act a certain way or her brother just is their brother and like he's doing whatever and it may be filmed or whatever and her mum doesn't see a camera and he's like oh my god i'm gonna clean this surface or like yeah, i'm gonna do yeah, this yeah. She's like, just i just literally. don't see the point in it yeah but some i feel like some youtubers and shane i feel like he's one of them that like he bends what is reality and like shapes yeah, his reality so in a way that can appeal to there's a difference then between yeah, people say. who like mold their life around youtube but then i don't people think it's fake what it is. yeah it's not, i don't think that's fake or real it's just whatever lifestyle you choose i guess my camera's flashing we're gonna have to um cut this short ladies and gentlemen boys and girls I'm i really feel like we ended it on a we ended it on not a like a, a solid point no i can have so, way more to talk about yeah if you want a part two of this or you want to like start some conversation in the comments please do please um, do i'm gonna go read the comments yeah i don't know i'll be reading the comments and should reply to everyone so if you want anna to reply to you <laughs>
I'm joking. Uh, but yeah, that is it for this podcast episode. If you do want us to talk about other topics, leave them in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I never watch these back because I will... Do you not? No, I never watch it back. Oh, wow. Well, That's why it's so uncut. I literally just yeah. cut the beginning to like when I started the camera and then oh, post it. Oh, I love it. that. So I like, haven't said anything. If there's anything answer. in this that you don't think makes sense, mm -hmm. I apologise. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it made sense though and hopefully you found it interesting. We're now going to go to the gym. Love that. We're not, I just want to disclaim as well, with me going on a tangent about Shane Dawson, I'm not dragging all like anyone on YouTube. I'm not saying no anyone's fake. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying anything what I've said is correct. I feel like we've like, left it on a very open point yeah. so we can come back to this. And as well, like I don't want to seem like Zoe and Alfie are like, dying out or whatever. Oh, I absolutely no. love them yeah. regardless. If any of them are watching, like I'm not. <laughs> they're not going to be watching. But like, I don't want people to see this in a way of me being like, oh, they want to this person, this person. I'm just discussing and using names as examples to make people try and understand. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I could you say they're not going to be watching though. Just because they have loads of subscribers doesn't mean they won't watch. Well, she follows me on Instagram, so. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean though? So that's right. not the point, I feel like we can go off, so I'll, just cut, I'll let you cut Right, we'll, we'll continue this another day. I love you a lot and I will chat to you in a few days time. Bye! Bye.